Hollywood's habit of spoiling movies by giving away essential plot points ahead of release is nothing new. A classic example is the trailer for Robert Zemeckis's Castaway which reveals that Tom Hanks shipwrecked FedEx exec eventually escapes from the island. The Terminator franchise has been one of the worst offenders here. Newer fans will recall the fabrago over the producer's decision to give away Terminator. Genesis Big Twist, that Jason Clarke's resistance hero John Connor has been compromised by the machines. But the sci-fi saga has been added for decades. One trailer for Terminator Salvation revealed virtually the entire story arc of Sam Worthington's Marcus Wright, while James Cameron himself couldn't resist giving away the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger's T-800 had swapped sides in 1991's Terminator 2. Judgment Day. A classic example is the new trailer for Spider-Man. Homecoming, which reveals an epic tapestry of plot points that could surely have been kept under wraps without damaging our sense of anticipation. This is, after all, Spidey in the Marvel Comics universe, a new wall crawler who has already spun his magic in that gloriously zippy Captain America. Civil War cameo. People are already excited by the film. Do we really need to know that he messes up and loses the brand new spider suit donated by Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark as a result? And that our hero decides to go it alone against Michael Keaton's malevolent vulture anyway? The answer, clearly, is no, we do not. One can understand the marketing team's trigger-happy approach. Spider-Man getting a scolding from Iron Man and potentially losing his Avengers membership card before he's even had the chance to take advantage of the discounts available down at the local Shawarma Emporium is something we've never seen in the Sony movies. It makes this latest reboot seem necessary, establishing its credentials as more than just another big screen retread. But there were surely better ways to flag up Spidey's callow nature and the challenges he's likely to face.